Welcome to this edition of uh, Risk Event of the Week, starting the week Monday, the 27th of June. We're off now to Daily FX, and Warren Benkitas joins us now with a look at a trade uh, around an event to follow up on. Warren, what you got for us? Morning, Jeremy, and uh, thanks for having me. So my risk event for next week relates to the upcoming OPEC Plus meeting, and I believe this to be one of the more important meets of recent with focus on monthly outputs going forward. So up until now, we've seen OPEC Plus, which is inclusive of Russia, and that's a very important thing to note, which I'll touch on later on. So we've seen OPEC Plus incrementally increase output um, with 648,000 barrels per day being the last agreed upon figure for July and August. Talks around September outputs and beyond are yet to be decided. So it will be interesting to see if anything is mentioned uh, post-August. We haven't seen anything yet up until now. No member nations have made any proposals for anything beyond the August output figure. It's also important to keep in mind that the agreed upon outputs that we've seen up until now, they are valid for uh, up until December 22. Thereafter, member nations may produce at will um, as there's no accord in place for 2023 and beyond. With regards to supply, however, there's been an interesting trend that we've picked up on. So if you look at actual OPEC plus output month on month versus the OPEC plus forecast figures, the actual output figures have fallen well short of these forecasted figures. And this is due to various reasons, but in particular, it's uh, due to sanctions on Russian oil. So as I mentioned earlier, OPEC plus, their production forecasts are inclusive of Russian contributions. So with sanctions on Russian oil, this has obviously been taken away from that equation and resulted into the current tight oil market that we've seen. And I do think this is going to continue going forward. Another supporting factor for elevated crude prices is the time spread. So if we look at the August-October time spread, the market is actually in backwardation. Backwardation simply means an excess of demand relative to supply. And th these time spreads are increasing and generally are positively correlated to crude oil prices. Um, so you may be asking yourself, why have Brent crude prices been tanking uh, over the last few weeks if these time spreads are increasing? Well, that's just due to the hawkish Fed that we've seen and fears around um, a global recession, which has hurt risk assets such as, such as crude oil. But I don't think this narrative is going to be any heightening to this uh, recessionary narrative in the short term. Um, we've seen the last day of Fed Chair Powell's uh, testimony yesterday. And uh, leading up to the OPEC meeting, I don't think see anything significant. So if we move on to the trade dynamics around this event, uh, on screen we have the daily Brent crude chart. And that shows price action testing that key area of confluence around the medium term trend line support, uh, which I've highlighted in black. And for the sixth time this year, bears were unable to push below that trend line support level. So if we look at a bullish entry into the market ahead of OPEC Plus, I don't think prices are unfavorable from an entry point of view. I'd be looking at a stop around 101.29 with a target at 109.68. Uh, they'll give us a, a small positive risk to reward, reward ratio there. However, you could wait for next week for a, for a better entry point. It's quite difficult to forecast a trade uh, a week ahead of the actual event. But on the contrary, uh, a confirmation close below trendline support or Wednesday swing low at 104.92 could invalidate this short-term bullish trade outlook. But if we just look in uh, the short to medium term and the macros and fundamentals, definitely tailwinds for elevated crude oil prices outweigh current headwinds. So that will be my outlook for Brent crude ahead of the OPEC Plus meeting next week. Okay, Warren, thanks so much indeed. Warren Bank with us there from Daily FX with his trade of the week next week, which is the risk event to watch out for the OPEC Plus meeting and it's Long Brent.